The news of Remington's decision to invest $20 million into the plant did not come from the company, but rather from a group of state legislators who met with executives of Remington's owners two days ago. The Freedom Group told lawmakers, including State Senator Joseph Griffo, that despite being upset with the state's tough new gun control laws, they will move ahead with plans to upgrade the plant in Ilium. One of the greatest assets of that facility is the workforce. Uh, that can't be replicated or duplicated. However, we need to continue to be uh, vigilant and sensitized to the changes in that company. After passage of the New York SAFE Act, there's been growing speculation that Remington would shut down and move out of state. Other states, notably Texas and South Carolina, have stepped up efforts to lure the Remington plant away from Ilium. Remington Arms has been part of this village for almost 200 years. It employs 1,300 people, so news of a $20 million investment is encouraging to the people in this community. Well, I find it very encouraging, of course, living right next door. And uh, this is a beautiful community, and it needs an anchor uh, to sustain it. I think it's a good, good thing. I mean, I've had generations of family work over here, both my uncles. One's retired, one's still there. His son is still there. You know, and if Remington goes out, even if Remington does invest another $20 million into this plant, its future is still uncertain. The company that owns Remington, the Freedom Group, is up for sale. And the new owners may have different plans. But today came more encouraging news. Congressman Richard Hanna announced that the Ilian Remington plant has just won an $80 million contract with the Pentagon. It will produce more than 5,000 sniper rifles for the Department of Defense, and that contract goes for 10 years. Jim Kenyon reporting.